Welcome back everyone. This is Roy with Pontoon Life. Um, got another uh, video uh, for you. Another reveal video. Um, and um, if you all are new to the channel, um, there's a couple of, you know, things that, or I should say, the way I've been doing this, um, I've been just kind of going through each one of these uh, mystery tackle boxes and uh, they had a Guggen uh, Mondo box and a Hack Attack box, uh, a mother load bass fishing crate from mystery tackle box. I've done a number of these uh, videos already just to kind of give you guys an idea of what you could find in any one of these boxes. Um, specifically the boxes that I open, they all have a number on them. So just to kind of give you a, a an idea you know if you're out there looking for for um you know you want to you want to get the most you can uh from the box that you get and you know <laughs> you know i've been pretty consistent at, at at getting more than the actual value of the box actually more than i've paid for it but also more than the value that they specify should be in the box so i've been pretty consistent at that there have been a few boxes that I've opened and you can kind of go back through the videos there and I, I always put on there a little caption you know uh, found a surprise or or something of that of that nature um, it where one bait in that box paid for the whole box and then the rest of it's all gravy so um, yeah you just never know what you'll find in them and I, and I, I you know I, I cannot say that you will find the exact baits in a specific number on in, in in a box that has a specific number of it but um you never know so again i guess that's why they call it a mystery or misty tackle box so anyway um if y'all hadn't done so and 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 i don't know if i've really said it much in, in any of my other videos i know i could put captions up there and everything uh please uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't um, and maybe give a thumbs up and a uh, notification bell and that'll kind of let you know I'm gonna try to put a video out every three days or so um, different different things there may be there may be some mixed in videos of, of um, other things that we do I, I I try not to make it just fishing all the time um, there are some fishing videos um, there are some videos on a couple of generators that we have and um mostly a lot of videos on on revealing these boxes um i just kind of want to get through the the pile and if you hadn't you know noticed in an earlier video my wife bought a pile of these video of these of these um boxes from from dick sporting goods so i i still have a few to go through and um uh, once we're complete with the boxes and the reveal um i may not do it to all of them but some of them i might go ahead and 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 take like you know maybe a specific box take it out to the pond or lake or whatever and just fish with what's in the box and see what we catch so that was an idea of mine um maybe good maybe not don't know another thing i've been kind of toying around with is um you know maybe doing a giveaway at some point um I know we don't have that many um, subscribers, and I I want to I want to kind of give back to you know the subscribers that we do have, and maybe give them a little incentive to maybe maybe have them share um, our videos out. And I was thinking about you know maybe not one of these that I've opened, but but maybe go out and buy just a, a random box that maybe it could be the same number, just something that I haven't opened. And use that as a giveaway. So maybe shoot me a comment. Let me know if that might be something you'd be interested in. Maybe like, um, you know, once we hit like 500 subscribers or 1,000 or however, you know, you ever you think um, I should shoot for. And then we do a random giveaway. Maybe with, with you know, maybe there being one um, winner that I'll send out a, 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 a whole box um unopened and there may be maybe some other ones where i you know i may take a lure or two or three and have you know 
so that way more than more than just one person would would win um maybe give it a little bit better um odds of winning something so anyway all that being said uh we're gonna we're gonna do another box today of our just the regular bass fishing kits uh, these are the green boxes um there are some that they have a different sticker on and i've showed these before uh these stick you know, you know what For those of you who have watched my other videos, you know that I, I keep forgetting to put my glasses on. So I'm going to put them on because then I can't see anything. Or I try to squint, you know, and it kind of looks funny You're trying to focus in on what I'm looking at. So, And um, I only use them for, for reading up close. So it's <laughs> um, you'll see me look over them a lot. So anyway, um, a lot of these boxes will have just a, a number they'll have a a sticker with a number on them and i found that there are a few that don't have just the number they have this little bass uh looking logo and um it'll have a box number on there in this case is box 45 um yeah so this is another one of those that is a little different than the majority of them and also, I've noticed, and, and this isn't a retape either, the tape on these is different. On every one of these boxes that has a different logo uh, sticker, the tape is different. And sometimes I find, I mean, I really haven't found that it's much different than the other ones. But I'm thinking maybe these were some of the older ones. I'm not sure. But anyway, let's, let's give it a try and, and, and see what we got. We'll set that up there and I mean the inside box is is the same I, I, I don't see any difference in the inside box at all um, and I know that the inside's going to have a ruler and it's going to have the dibble pamphlet in there and it's probably going to have a mystery tackle box sticker um, right. well I have found different stickers in these so anyway we'll give it a, we'll give it a shot see what happens all right so yeah our same mystery tackle box ruler and um we'll just start going down the line and what i'm going to do like i always do if you if you if you've watched some of the other videos i go through and i i price these but what i find on amazon I, I i i know i could go out there and go to mystery tackle box i can go to the specific lure company's website i can I can, you know, look online for, for, for tackle shops that sell um, discounted baits and whatnot and see if I can match the exact same one. You know, I don't want to go through all of that. I just want to kind of give you guys an idea of what you'll find in the box and, you know, if there is a surprise in there or not. So, anyway, our first, our first thing out of here is a Eagle Claw Plano Hook Pack. Um, there's 18 hooks in here, different sizes and there are no barcodes or anything on this there's no sense in looking this up i always say they're a couple bucks um typical of what you would find in walmart or any other you know um, sporting goods place oh um, we'll just say it's a couple bucks okay next thing out of here hard hat jigs by the catch company diesel jig football well diesel jig football jig um i've gotten a few of these and um they're pretty cool and <laughs> according to the back here what it says and this is why i wear my glasses trail the diesel jig with a natural lifelike crawfish imitating trailer to trigger strikes from bass looking for an easy meal along the bottom and they've got a little uh diesel truck spewing all kinds of smoke um you know i've had diesels before I've never had him smoke like that. So, um, yeah, he's probably either got water in his line or something. But anyway, <laughs> that's just my opinion. But anyway, they, they've got a, I guess that's just to show you that it's a diesel. You know? Yeah. Um, pretty cool jig. We're, this one does have a, 
a barcode on it, and it is listed as the Summer Craw. Um, yeah, this is a Summer Craw. I don't know if that's referring to the color or not. I don't remember ever having that one. And yeah, that one's not going to come up. And like all the ones that I say I can't find on Amazon like this, I just say they're five dollars. I mean, it might be it might be five ninety nine, seven ninety nine. I just say five dollars. So five dollars and a, a couple bucks there. We're about seven dollars in. All right. Next thing in here, big bite baits. These look like crawfish, little craws. Um, yeah, with bite juice. <laughs> I guess, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing I probably don't want to eat that. Uh, cancer and reproductive harm. Probably not a good idea for us to eat that. Um, anyway, it looks like about a, no, seven of them in here maybe? And I know there's not a barcode in here, so we'll just say another five dollars. So we're about twelve bucks in. All right, now this was a, this was a different one here, and I know I haven't gotten one of these. This one was the original Castic Castic. Sorry, how you pronounce that? C a s t a i c Castic Loco Ten Crankbait um, Basco Berserk. Pretty cool, three and a half inch, half ounce. The depth on this is 5 to 10 feet. Manufactured by Trophy Technology in Trenton, Texas. So this is a, this is a, it's a Texas jig. How about that? But that is pretty cool crankbait there. Did I put it upside down? Yeah, I did put it up correctly. It actually sounds like it's got a little bit of a rattle in there. Um, that one shows that it's a chart shad. I'll see if it comes up here. That one might come up uh, or not. There is one loco special there. Yeah. There's only one that I could find and it's not like that. Well, it's kind of sort of like that. Um, yeah, that one, that one's a little different. Let me see if we can find one that's close to it. Yeah, I don't see this one. I mean, this one's made by the same company, but it's, yeah, it you know, it's like a $20 crankbait. It's a longer one, has three hooks. This one has two hooks. Um, I probably be, would be safe saying that that would be like, like ten dollars um yeah i i know that's more than five bucks so buy that by itself but anyway i can't see the exact same one out here so if i just say what's on here right now um we are at about seventeen dollars um now mind you these these boxes that have these different stickers on them they don't have a value on the box like the other ones do. The other ones actually say they're a $25 value. And these don't actually say anything on them. So, and they tell you how many baits are in them. Well, this one doesn't say that. So, you know, you've got to kind of guess that it's, uh, you know, what, what you're getting there. Uh, maybe that's why people maybe weren't buying these. I don't, I don't know. Um, all right, next thing on here are the uh, Lake Fork Trophy Lures. Lures with an attitude. Garlic and salt impregnated. Um, pretty cool. Craw tube. Hyper still. That's actually in the, that's pretty cool. In the, in the, um, those are the, those are the, the, the worms there. The tubes as they call them. Uh, but in the back, they actually give you, um, tip, tips on, on rigging and 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 how to to set them up so in the back here they have the wacky rig where they they hook it in the center and then they have a carolina rig they have the weightless rig which is just basically a hook set in there without an actual weight um, the drop shot where the um, 
basically it's 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 the weightless rig but with a weight on the bottom so it, it actually separate I don't know if you can you can make that out or not but that's that's what it looks like there um, and then they have a finesse rig um, yeah that's got a bigger weight on the hook itself so different ways to, to hook it this one is a green pumpkin again no barcode so I don't think Amazon's gonna do us any good this time around uh, if I go with what we have here so far we're at about $22 give or take and we're still going all right next thing in here we have some more looks like craws um this one's from excite baits excitebaits.com and that is in pilot point texas uh gotta figure out where that is it does say made in usa that's what those guys look like. I don't know what it is about the green pumpkins today, but it's the same color. Green pumpkins. These are the Raptor Tail Junior. Let's see if these are in here because they do have a barcode. We got to get one that, that comes up in, in Amazon, don't we? Hey, maybe. Nope. <laughs> I should have known. No, that's not going to come up. Yeah, not gonna come. Up. All right. Well, again, if we say five dollars, um, you know, and a lot of these might be, you know, four ninety nine, three ninety nine. Oh, we just say five dollars. So we're at, what twenty seven dollars. Um, if I look at the regular boxes on here, the ones that actually do tell you a value, uh, they will say they're a twenty five dollar value. This one says absolutely nothing about value. So, you know, box 45, um, we'll, we'll go with about at least $25 value on that. Um, so yeah, um, I mean, it's probably a little bit more. I'm, I'm pretty sure this one, this one crankbait was more than $5. Um, and I got to do some research to go look, see if I find that one, but all right. And we get our, our dibble tips and tricks for mystery tackle box and it's a little different normally i get how to tie a polymer knot over here um this is three ways to fish a chatterbait split tail grub grubs soft jerk bait and crawl so yeah it's um oh and, and it's a little different in the back too it has acronyms um angler slang is the backbone of the fishing community mtb lfg mt and yeah, MTB again, hat guy, um, <laughs> mystery tackle box. <laughs> All right, so yeah, it's got a couple of different things, massive fish, and you know some other things have have a boat, get on the water now. Just some cool little sayings and acronyms in there. We have our cardboard um, mystery tackle box. What's in the box? Um, thing it doesn't give you the value, but it tells you what's in the box. Um, and like I said, there is a mystery tackle box sticker, which I got a lot of those now. Um, every once in a while, I find a cool, different sticker in these, but um, most of them are like that. So anyway, um, you know, just a a quick rundown of what's in box forty-two, and. You know, I always put everything right back in, in the box where I got it and close back up. And like I said, you know, I may take one of these boxes out there and just do a kind of a, a challenge. You know, can I, can I catch anything with what's in these boxes? Um, you know, I haven't taken the pontoon boat out in a while. Um, we've got a lot of stuff going on the ha around the house. We've got um daughter's graduation coming up and everything and you know we wife and i both work so um you know we you know time is is tough um and you know I, you know i've got i've got two older sons also one's in the military and deployed and and my other son he's that's actually fishing with rj if you if you haven't gone to his channel check out the um 
the end of my video there, there is a link to his website as well. He, he does a lot of this stuff, little different stuff as well, um, and occasional fishing in a kayak. So, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. So, shout out for Fishing with RJ. And um, we'll go ahead and, 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 and bring this video to a close. As always, happy fishing. Y'all be safe out there, and we'll see you on the next one.